Alright, so today I am going to fix the most common error while saving the photos or videos in Camera X tutorial that I have created. Most of you guys have followed the tutorial, so thank you for that. But face this issue, which we will fix today. The issue is mainly coming due to the fixed path that I have used from the emulator and also it will come for the devices having the Android 11 running on them. The reason for that is Android 11 no longer have the permission to write to external storage. Let's run the application in this stage in Android 11 emulator and check the error. So if I click on the take picture, it is giving this error. So let's fix it. First of all, let's update the write external storage permission to be available for API 28 and less. As you can see, it is already highlighted in the Android 10 plus devices which is Android 11 that this is no longer provides. So let's add the max SDK version to have 28. Coming back to main activity, now we will update the capture photo use case and the capture video use case. So go to the capture photo and remove the hard coded path for the camera X photos. We will be using media store API to save the photos now. First we have to update the timestamp to get the current system timestamp that is the time in millis now create an object of the content values For image capture use case, it will require two columns that is media columns that is the display name and the mime type. So in the content values, put a new key string. Key will be a media store dot media columns dot display name display name comma the name will be our timestamp and now we have to update the media columns dot mime type which is image slash jpeg now we have to update this image capture output file option builder remove this existing one the first thing in here will be content resolver second we have to provide a external URI so let's go to the media store dot images dot media external content URI and the third thing is content values that we have already created. Let's run the application and check our photo capture use case, image capture use case. If I take the picture, it is saying photo has been saved successfully. And uh, let's pan around and get another view. It is now saving and if we go to the gallery, pictures, the picture has been saved. Perfect. So the next thing is go to the record video use case and we will do the same as we did for the image capture use case. First of all get the current system time millis. Remove these parts. Create a content values 
value content value content values dot put media store media columns display name and uh, this will be our timestamp and the next thing is putting the mime type media columns mime type this will be our video video slash mp4 and the last thing is we have to update the builder first argument will be getting the content resolver second one is the media store uri for the video media external content uri and the third thing is content values so it is done let's run the application again and check the video is being stored or not let's pan around some and click on start and checking stop recording video has been saved successfully perfect so this video is being saved that's it for today's one if you like this one a thumbs up would be great and don't forget to hit the subscribe button see you on the next one thank you